Okay, God has a plan. God has a plan, and it's called the last great day. Okay, what does this day represent? The last great... Now, what I want to connect it up to is the last great event in your Bible. We're dealing with a holy day called the last great day. Okay, all right, let's, you know, let's reason here and say, okay, what's the last great event that we find in the Bible? Okay, before we get there, I want to read another scripture in the book of Revelation. We're, we're, we're about to ask, answer the question, what is the last great event found in your Bible? But before we get there, let's look at this. Revelation 21 and verse 4. And God shall wipe away all tears from their eyes, and there shall be no more death, neither sorrow nor crying, neither shall there be any more pain, for the former things are passed away. Now, I already said that traditional concept uh, the traditional concept is that in heaven, there's a place called hell, okay? And, of course, I guess about 80% are going there, right? But, you know, there is this idea that in heaven, at any given time, there's a place called hell that you can go over to and see people that didn't make it, that, who are burning in hell. Now this verse says God's going to wipe. What kind of heaven is that? Where, you know, in a place in, in heaven, there is a place called hell, according to the traditional concept, and you can go over there and you can see these people suffering. Is that going to, I mean, I don't, that doesn't sound like God has wiped away all tears. For, I mean, that's not going to work, is it? And my question is, is God fair? The last great day, the last reveals, what it's about is the last major event in your Bible. What is the last, if we connect it up, the last great day to the last major event in your Bible, well, what is the last major event in your Bible? It is the great white throne judgment. Well, let's start to read about it. And Revelation 20 and verse 5 says, But the rest of the dead lived not again until the thousand years were finished. This is the first resurrection. Now, get this. There is a first resurrection. And that's the resurrection when Christ returns and resurrects the saints. Okay. That's a specific group of people, the saints. But then you have a thousand years go, goes by. And after that thousand year millennial reign of Christ, you have the second resurrection. And it's referred to as the rest of the dead.